Hey guys, it's Jessie. So I still haven't bought any new Copic markers. So once again, I'm working with R22 Light Prawn BG23 Coral C and Y21 Buttercup Yellow. This drawing was inspired by Easter and is loosely based off of a childhood friend. And that friend is Funny Bunny. When I was little, my brother and I had somehow come across this stuffed rabbit and carrot. I don't know where we found them, but there are these ratty, hideous little window clings with long, spindly arms and legs. And regardless, we just fell in love with them. We played with them all the time. We named them Funny Bunny and Crazy Carrot, and they were best friends. We played endlessly with Funny Bunny and Crazy Carrot, taking them everywhere we went, and having all sorts of adventures, until one day we took them to our grandma's house. Side note. I grew up very close to my cousins, and my grandma's house was like the mothership, so if you went over there, you were guaranteed to run into at least three other cousins. Anyways, one of my youngest cousins stole Crazy Carrot, so in an effort to save him, my other cousin tried to take him back, and it turned into a tug of war, so do I need to say more? Crazy Carrot lost a leg that day, and my brother gave him to my grandma and asked if she would fix him, so she took Crazy Carrot away, and we never saw him again. I actually still have Funny Bunny in my attic, stored safely in all his glory. Sometimes I actually have tried to find the pair on like eBay or something because I always thought it would be a funny gift to give my brother a crazy carrot, but I don't even remember what he looks like. I, I mean crazy carrot, not my brother. I think they're such a random item that it'd be impossible to find them, so they'll just have to be a tragic memory that we hold on to forever, I guess. Have you ever had a toy go missing out of nowhere? and you still like longingly wonder where it is, let me know in the comment section because I'd love to hear about it. I have several of those occasions where toys just vanished and I've never seen them again. Okay, so back to the drawing. At this point, I was getting a little worried about how this rabbit would turn out. I decided to just keep layering all three layers of colors in a panic, and in the end, it actually really turned out okay. Like, I liked how it turned out. You can still see all three individual colors, but together they made this warm taupe color. I don't know, I liked how it turned out. Since I've been back from San Diego, I've been a complete zombie. We went on vacation last week and I'm still trying to get used to the time zone change. And not only did we lose three hours from the time zone change, but we also lost that hour from daylight savings in the same night. So it's been a slow adjustment. Um, basically, the majority of this week has just been devoted to slowly readjusting and getting the house back in order, uh, doing laundry, unpacking, buying groceries, you know, all that fun stuff. I've been working on a new freelance job with a teacher from Australia, and I've been doing clip art for her website, and it's been, like, awesome because she is, like, the perfect client, the best client you could ever ask for. She doesn't ask me to make any changes. She loves everything that I do, and she's really prompt with her payments, so that's also a help. Today, basically, I'll just be continuing on working on this illustration for this book I've been working on. I feel like it's been a hundred years, but, you know, one, one page at a time, I guess. Oh, happy Friday, by the way. Since I started working from home, weekends kind of mean nothing to me, but I shouldn't really say that because they do mean my husband will be home, so that's basically all I look forward to on weekends. So it looks like this is wrapping up. As usual, thumbs up if you like this drawing, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a suggestion for future drawings in the comment section below because I'm always looking for new ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!